okay, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need your oral bucket, your funnel, paper towel, um, to release the oil filter, I have this little little thing. It's pretty. It's like a strap. It just hooks onto it. I'll show you how that works. Um, ratchet with the right ratchet for your plugs. Um, oil filter, which will be chrome. Spark plugs. Three oil. Do not go over three three quarts of oil. You bust your seals. So three quarts of oil will be perfect for any bike. First thing you're going to do is you're going to open the, your oil thing up, push down on it, turn it. There you go. <laughs> and just turn it. That's going to be really tight. Okay. okay. Put that on a paper towel somewhere in a clean place. When that's open, I'm going to get down here and show you what's going on. There is a little tube right here that clicks, unclicks. Like that, and that's what drains your oil into your pan. So she's going to need a screwdriver. If you want to go get a screwdriver, a small screwdriver, it looks like. And we're going to undo that, and this whole piece will come out. Flathead. Yep. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. And just Loose, pull that. Keep loosening it, or just no, pull no, it. Just pull the little plastic thing off. Wiggle it back and forth until it comes right off. off. Should just won't come right off. Whole piece you just. Is that ho that coupling coming off too? That O ring? Yeah. yeah. Well, you you want that whole thing to come off. I don't think it's loose enough. Hold on. Looks like that. Okay, so the the clamp didn't actually come off. That's what I just asked. Is if the clamp came off. Yeah, just like that. Just let it pour out. And while we're doing that, while that's going, let's change the plugs. One at a time. Let's do one at a time. Here is your, where's your wrench? Stick that on there. Oil's running pretty well. Getting all that oil out of there. And down there. That's what it looks like. Black. Which is a kind of a good color. As long as it's not wet. If it's wet, then you have uh, gasoline on it, and it, it's basically shot. Put the new one on. Where is she going there? Lily? She got mm -hmm. shot. Don't over-thread it. Don't force it. I won't. That's why I didn't want to. There you go. It's got to go in really it nice at and a easy. Slight angle. You don't want to cross thread it, so. And that's the first one. Okay. Push it on. 
Don't clicks. Did click. Okay. That one's warm. <laughs> this one's cold. That one must have been not fired. The back one was firing on the. That cylinder. The front cylinder's hot, the back cylinder's cold. Ooh, yep. That's nice and warm. Really? Yep, the back one's not at all. Easier way to do that? Let go. Put that on it. And then turn it the other way. And just like that, she's just stubborn like a woman. And very good. Very good. There's your new one. Okay, what uh, what we're doing next is we took the oil pan from the underneath and stuck it in the front because your oil on a Sportster, your oil is, this is probably the easiest oil filter to find. And it's on the side, right in front. So we're going to use your little gadget there. To, this is a different style of removing. Rolling it towards the street. Okay. You're going to strap that on there. Roll it. Until it gets tight, you stick your screwdriver in that little tiny hole there. And should turn. Keep going. Doesn't put as much muscle into it. If it bends, who cares? Because that's the old one. <laughs> you thought the screwdriver. You stay over here. Okay. Just like that. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Because it's filled full of oil. Oh, it's coming down my frame. That's alright. We'll clean that up. It's supposed to. There's nowhere else to go, but it's... And then you just pay, get a, once you get the new one on there, you just put a new... Just drop it in there. There you go. Just like that. Beautiful. Now that's going to drip out of there for a little bit onto your frame. That's fine. Because it will... Not yet. Not yet. It's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll take a paper towel and clean up that top of that piece. And where it's dripping. Okay, that's good. Until you get that new one on. Okay. How long do we wait? Oh, you can put it on right now. Well, should I clean up the frame first? Nope. What you're going to do, take this, put that down, take one of your, one of your oils, pour just a little bit inside of it. Center? Yep. A little bit. That's good. Now pour some on the outside just a little bit. On the outside of the rim. Put it right here so everybody can see what you're doing. Around here. Okay, yeah. Pour some right there. That's good. Now put your finger in it and wipe it around the black edge. The ring. There you go. 
What about this? Nope. No. You don't need to. Just Threading? the just the just, the, this for just the seal. That. Yeah. Let me see. There you go. Yep, that's good. I'm gonna get that on there. Okay. Now this is just hand tightened. So we put it on. Just hand tightened. Do I need to clean there. up anything around that? Nope, not yet. Well, not until you put that on because it's, st it's still dripping. So. Keep moving it until you can't move it anymore. There's a suction suction of the it's greasy of the engine will suck it to the to the top there and okay. we'll put the three quarts of oil in. That's all you do. Slug bike. Ha ha ha. Slug bike. Ha <laughs> ha. There's two of them. <laughs> Hee -hee. Two of them just went over that way. Two for me, none for you. Go ahead and pour it. it looks like honey. Yep. Put it all in there. And we're using. We are using uh, Jingling, yeah, 2050 Harley Davidson oil. Synthetic. Synthetic. Because that's what they tell us to use. Spark plugs are also Harley Davidson plugs. And the chrome. I mean, you could use other plugs, but it won't sound, and the know. timing would be off, and. That's my opinion, anyway. A bit of a purist. <sighs> purist. Only in America. <laughs> no, no, no other... <laughs> other spark plugs will do. That's one. This is number three. Is it? Mm -hmm. I see you put that second one in. Do you talk to you? Oh, I was talking. Sorry. Boy, she needs a bath, too. She hasn't had one since Sturgis. Okay. That gets you another cloth, and when you pull that out, Mm -hmm. Just put it over the your paper towel so it doesn't drip on the bike. That comes last. You got to pull that out first. What? Mommy? Yes, dear. What? Mommy, Bring it out here. Like that. Bring it out here, honey. And that is an, your basic oil change. Pretty easy. Took maybe 20, 25 minutes to do. Um, the Sportsters are really easy. Um, if they're 883s, 1200s, <coughs> they're probably the easiest. The <coughs> Dolores may be harder because I think that there's a, like a bolt underneath it that... Um, I well, I haven't changed the oil on her yet, so we'll have to see what happens. Um, go ahead and just turn it until it's tight. Don't forget there. that to follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. I'm on all three of those. Um, there may be a question of what do you do after the used oil. I made it really simple for, for myself, so it's a lot easier. Grab yourself a bucket or a, like a milk jug, water jug, whatever. Um, pour the oil in this and take it to the landfill. Um, the oil from the filter, just drain it out 
and stick it in the box with the, the paper towel that you've used. And so it dreams on that. And just throw it in garbage. Ride hard, stay safe.